A new feature gives users the ability to assign analog audio inputs to HDMI inputs. To do this, navigate to the on-screen menu, go over to Audio, then go down to HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, and select which analog audio you want to hear when you select that HDMI input. So now, when I select HDMI 2, I'll hear the audio that's connected to input 2. It's as simple as that. One feature recently released is the ability to turn on and off HDCP compliance on HDMI inputs. So why would we want a feature like this? It sounds like we're trying to defeat HDCP guidelines. Well, that's not the case. There's a lot of computers on the market today that will automatically encrypt the video output with HDCP based on the type of device that they're connected to. So as an example, if you take one of these computers connected to an HDCP compliant display, the computer sees the display as HDCP compliant and therefore encrypts the video output with HDCP. The reverse is also true. If I take that same computer, plug it into a non-HDCP compliant display, the video output is not HDCP encrypted and I get a non-HDCP signal to that display. So if I take that computer and I plug it into the scaler, the computer is going to see the scaler as an HDCP compliant device and encrypt its output with HDCP. The problem is the scaler has both an analog and a digital output. Well, the analog output obviously can't be HDCP compliant. So if I take that computer, plug it into the scaler as HDMI, it's going to see the scaler as HDCP, encrypt its output with HDCP, and then the scaler is going to turn its VGA output off. So to get around this problem, we've given the feature to turn HDCP on and off on the HDMI inputs. This way, we can turn HDCP compliance off on a single HDMI output. So that way I can take the computer, plug it into the input, the computer sees the device as non-HDCP compliant, and it can go right on through the scaler out the VGA output to your display. So to do this, we go to the on-screen menu, we go across to the setup tab, hit enter, down to the bottom where it says HDMI input HDCP. Hit enter, and then you have your different inputs, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. You can turn HDCP compliance on or off per input. So if I turn HDCP off for HDMI 1, I can then take my computer, which is a computer that automatically toggles HDCP, plug it into the scaler, get right on through the scaler, VGA out to my display, and everything is fine. Remember, you don't want to use a feature like this for a source that's always HDCP encrypted, like a Blu-ray player. This will not defeat HDCP, it will just allow your source to not encrypt HDCP when it's a source that is not playing HDCP content. One of the unique features on the 7 Series scalers is the ability to set custom output resolutions based on the timing parameters of your specific display. That process has always been a little bit of a daunting task, but with a new feature, it's become much easier. What we've done is given you the ability to simply read the EDID from the display that you're connected to, and the scaler will automatically fill in the parameters to set a custom output resolution based on the parameters of the display that you're using. So to do this, we go to the on-screen menu, go to the setup page, And we go to Advanced Setup. Then Output. And then down to the last selection of Read EDID. You hit Enter on this. It pulls in the parameters of the display that you're connected to. Then you hit Save. It's going to save it as whatever custom setting you're on. In this case, we're Custom 1. From there, back out of the menu, go to your output, 
and we're going to select custom one as our output resolution. Hit enter, hit enter again to confirm that resolution, and you'll have a custom user-defined output resolution without manually inputting any parameters for that resolution. We all know that it can take a long time to switch between HDMI sources, especially with HDCP. Well, to speed up switching times and still maintain a fade through black transition, the 7 series scalers now have a feature called HDMI switch behavior. By going in the menu and going to the setup page, go down towards the bottom where it says HDMI switch behavior. By setting the switch behavior to bypass, you can now cut the switching time for HDMI switches by up to 50%. Simply select HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 and then normal or bypass. Normal will be the normal switching time that you're used to. Bypass makes that switching time that much faster. To broaden the capabilities of the 7 series scalers, multiple additions were recently made to the output resolution selections. As you can see in the on-screen menu, go to the output selection, and then resolutions, 480p, 720p, 1080i are now available with a refresh rate of 59.94 Hz. Also, 1080p is available with 23.98, 29.97, and 59.94 Hz. All these resolution selections are in addition to the pre-existing resolution selections and refresh rate selections that you already had with your scaler.